Hi Blazers, welcome to this uh, new Ample Blaze video tutorial. Now this has come to light uh, through one of our Ample Blaze clients. We have the Google Drive as you know and sometimes when you download and install Google Drive and then you put your files on there um, sometimes when the files are syncing they don't finish syncing so sometimes you get something like something like that showing uh, without the ticks they actually just keep giving you the round circle um, and not finish um, syncing and, and then other people that need to see that folder don't actually see the folder or the files the updated files within that folder so what I'm going to show you guys um, in this video tutorial is what to do now this uh, can be done with a Google Drive corporate account so if you've got your own Google account with your own domain this works with that now what you need to do is go into your admin settings in Google now to get there um, click on admin it'll ask you to put in your passwords and and whatnot um, when you're there navigate to apps then go down to drive and docs which is where we're at here and then you've got the sharing settings now with the corporate account with Google Drive you get two types of Google Drive storage spaces you've got Google Drive itself and then you've got um, you have uh, shared drives okay so what I'm gonna do shared drives don't normally just happen you've got to enable it so you've got to get your system admin to go into this section um, again under apps and then drive and docs and then go into your sharing settings okay inside sharing settings you'll turn that on and then you've got to turn sharing on okay once that's done you hit save I'm going to hit cancel um, so that part is on and then you've got to go, come down to here shared drive creation this is where that, that actual thing that you can actually uh, create a shared drive so this is turned turned on so it's actually the other way around so it says prevent users in the ample blaze um, from creating new shared drives so when we don't want that to happen you turn it on when you want it to be creating folders and shared drives you turn it off so once that is off then you can go into your my drive you can go into shared drives and you can click on create a shared drive now then here you can give it a name and click on create and you can see that that is the new test shared drive so I'll just click on that see it's right there what you can do then is you can right click on it and you've got manage members so if you've got members under your domain that have their separate email addresses you click that and you can add um, other people to it okay and you can change their permissions and whatnot okay you can also so that's that's how that's done now the reason for this um, is I, I had to speak to Google and when we had that syncing issue for the Ample Blaze client they advised us that the security and structure of a shared drive is much stronger than the my drive where my drive gives you those syncing issues and the Google representative advised that the shared drive section 
will not give you that uh, issue. Now, here you can also note that you've created it and you've got the settings and whatnot. You can do all that fun stuff, but you can also um, see the shared drive within your Google Drive location. You go to shared drives, you can see it right there. Now, you can see there's nothing there, it's empty. Um, now you can't delete from here, there's permissions and security. You would have to be in the clouded version to get rid of it. Um, and, and yeah, it's pretty much that straightforward. If you have any issues, um, you can always contact Ampleblaze at info at ampleblaze.com and we'll gladly help you out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.